Hey everybody, welcome to another Monday fly tying series with Edward, uh, old guy outdoors. We're going to tie a black mamba, my version of it. I don't know how many other people tie like this, but I love this fly. Uh, it's a streamer. It uh, it works great. It doesn't really represent anything that a brown trout would eat as food goes, but it seems to get them to attack and fight it. So that's just as good. This is a great fly. It's a black mamba. Um, so here we go. We're going to start this one off with a size 8 specialty hook and some uh, 0.35 millimeter lead. So we're going to wrap almost the entire length of the shaft to the hook. Uh, we want this fly to sink really fast. So don't be sparing on the on the lead. Depending on the size of hook that you use depends on the thickness of the lead. You don't want this fly to be too bulky, but get as much lead on there as you can without going past the bend of the hook. Then we're gonna take some uh, 70 black thread and uh, just start at the eye. Do a couple of wraps and then wrap the entire length to uh, secure the lead. Yeah, just like that. Might be, don't be uh, cheap on the thread. Then we're going to trim off the tag end. And uh, we're going to use some of this gold flash. Um, we'll use about little six or eight pieces of it and then we're going to run our thread back to where the barb would be above the barb then we're going to simply um, affix the flash to the uh, hook trim off uh, excess here and then uh, wrap forward covering that all up Come back to the flash there and we're going to go a couple of wraps underneath and lift the tail up a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Make a couple more wraps. There we go. Yeah. Now we're going to take the length of the, the shaft of the hook and trim the tail off. We got some fine wire. Um, I use gold. I hear that Silver works fine too, but I like the gold. And I'll wrap it to the hook, nice and snug. Just get a little bit so it doesn't come out. And we'll just leave that there for a second while we get some rabbit fur. Now we're gonna split the rabbit fur a little bit and affix it to the hook. Oh, wait, now see? That's something that happens to me every now and then is I get rabbit fur that's got a piece missing. Uh, I suppose maybe I buy cheaper rabbit fur strips, but I find that every now and then I get a piece with the hair gone. Uh, so I'll just move that forward a little bit, not a real problem, and then I'll affix that to the a hook spinning the hair there we go and then we're going to move the hair forward a little bit and yeah see so we're going to make it just fine now we'll put a couple of wraps underneath yeah keep that back out of your way a little bit now we're going to take some ice dubbing and peacock and we're going to build a little bit of body underneath 
the rabbit fur. Um, yeah, there we go. Add a little more dubbing. Yeah. There we go. Make a few more wraps. I like a pretty hefty body underneath. So, and we'll finish off the end. And we're going to pull that rabbit fur back forward again. And since I gauged it to know that that bare spot's not going to hurt me none, I'll make a couple wraps around, a couple wraps underneath. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. Then I'm going to take my uh, scissors. Normally I use my razor knife, but since the, the hair's already gone off of that piece anyway, I'll just use my scissors and nip it off. Make a couple more wraps. There we go. Yep. We want to make that secure. Then we're going to take this wire and we'll split the hair as we go over and wrap that wire down. Mainly that wire is just to help secure the rabbit fur. I'm a big advocate of making these flies last. I only tie during the winter. So the flies that I tie during the winter have to last me all year long. nip off that uh, wire. Normally I don't uh, use my scissors to nip the wire but it's fine so it'll be all right. We'll make a couple more wraps and we're going to do a nice little whip finish on it. Just two or three wraps. There we go. Yeah. In that uh, thread. Now we're going to take some uh, green, uh, fluorescent green thread, and we're just going to wrap it around the head. This is just a color attractant that uh, seems to work really well. And we'll trim off our tag end. Yeah. There we go. And do several more wraps until we get a nice head built up on it. Careful not to go over the eye. I brought this forward a little bit further than I normally do so I'm fighting the eye a little bit but the important thing is that happens once in a while so just work through it. Just keep an eye on the eye. And now we'll do some whip finishing. Uh, there we go. Did that. Trim the tag in. Put a little bit of head cement on there. Yeah, just a dab will do you. There we go. Run a little bit underneath. That's perfect. Now we're going to lift the rabbit fur up and hold it so we can trim the hide just before the length of the flashing. There we go. That's just so the hair sticks out and gives it a little less bulk there. And uh, there we go. And then we're going to trim a little bit underneath just a little, there we go, just a touch, there we go, perfect little bit around the eye, that's good, all right, there's your black mamba, enjoy fishing with it. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another fly tying series, um, we do these every Monday, so stick with us, hit that subscribe button, like and share our videos please. We appreciate your support. Uh, our growth depends on it, so uh, thanks again. Um, 
Until next time, remember, life's a gift. Get outdoors.